Our client is one of the leading drug discovery and development solution provider based out of India. The company provides life science products and services across the value chain, serving its customers globally with its presence in India, North America, Europe and China. As in case with most of the large enterprise, this customer too had a complex IT ecosystem with lot of components interacting with each other. However, at the heart of IT ecosystem was SAP ERP 5.0 implementation. Sales and distribution, financial accounting, controlling and material management were some of the principal modules implemented. Talking about the technology and environment, when we engaged with customer, it was in middle of a major SAP upgrade program from 5.0 to 6.0. While UAT was being done by customer's own team, client wanted a specialized partner for validation of upgrade performance SLAs and that is where we fitted in. Based on our discussion with key stakeholders, we identified the following important objectives of performance testing exercise. Number one, benchmark the response times of the crucial SAP transactions and job processes like uh, VA01, VA02, VL10A, MIGO101, MIGO261, CORE6N, CO88 and many more. Number two, monitor the on-time background processing while the transactions were executed. And number three, validate the hardware to sustain the expected user load. Now talking about the solution that we gave to our client, as a part of SAP testing practice within Crestec, our performance team defined an approach to design and execute load tests to benchmark the performance of new SAP implementation and validate if the application complies with the performance SLAs set internally by the management. Keeping this approach in focus, we plan to conduct testing in a phased manner. The three phases were phase one, tool feasibility analysis, phase two, performance benchmarking and monitoring, and phase three, revalidate and certify the fixes. In phase one, we evaluated Silk Performer, HP Load Runner, and Neo Load for performing the exercise. Load Runner was identified as the best fit tool for performance monitoring and analysis, besides successfully scripting the SAP transactions. Now, since the users were located at three geographical locations, Hollister, Salisbury, and Montreal, we performed a load modeling exercise to distribute the load across three locations. Testing was primarily done in two environments one UAT and the other pre-production. A production cut data was brought in the UAT environment and additional data was populated using load scripts. The same data set was then populated in pre-production to execute load tests. <coughs> in phase two, we performed benchmark runs to capture the response time and used standard SAP performance monitoring transactions to identify the bottlenecks. Now some of these transactions that we worked with to do a real-time monitoring and retroactive analysis were SM66 for global work process overview, ST04 for database monitoring, ST05 for performance analysis, ST06 for OS monitoring, ST22 for ABAP runtime errors, SM21 for displaying system logs and STAD which is for uh, displaying the statistical records. Now in phase three, once the issues were fixed by the SAP basis team of the client, we revalidated all the fixes and certified the new SAP implementation for performance. As an ROI to the client, we tracked the user experience for a duration of three months post go live. The number of performance issues reported were only 0.05% of the total and that too were tracked down to a heavy batch triggered by wrong data entry. The customer attains its business objectives from performance testing engagement and even mentioned the brilliant contribution of Crestec team in project closure report. 